We're going to take a look at the latest Linux Mint 19.1 XFCE. Very good and very weird. I'll explain in a second. All right, welcome back and holiday greetings to one and all. I did a full install test of Linux Mint 19.1 XFCE in my ThinkPad T60. Check out ThinkPads. They are one of the best when it comes to testing Linux-based operating systems. So what I did, I installed a full install, erased the hard drive, no Windows, nothing else on that hard drive in my ThinkPad, and did a full install of Linux Mint .1 XFCE, and I came across a couple of weird bugs. Let's go ahead and uh, full screen this. All right, so now the ThinkPad T60 does not have a widescreen display, so that's why it's boxed in here like this. So let me show you what happens. Let me go ahead and play this. There's no sound to this particular recording on the ThinkPad. Right here, I created to the right a little mini panel and do you see that? I have a calendar but no clock. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Now I have not tested all of the formats, but if I use that format there, 12 hour format, it gives me a calendar but no clock. Yeah, it's just it's just weird. Now I'll show you one more bug at the end of this video here, but one of my favorite things about XFCE is the ability to add little applets or little plugins. Uh, in the Mate desktop, they're called applets. XFCE plugins, they pretty much pretty much operate the same here. I just add a little trash applet to the uh, top panel, and there we have a little, yeah, a little trash applet up there. I think it's it may be kind of, kind of hidden here with my top panel uh, running Ubuntu Mate. But anyway, yeah, as far as the panel itself uh, works fine. The audio mixer, self-explanatory. If you've tested Linux Mint before, you will find it is one of the best, one of the polished, one of the most polished operating Linux-based operating systems on the planet. Uh, for beginners, it is superb. I mean, really, really nice. Update manager, I do not do system, uh, system snapshots, system backups. Um, I believe this, you use time shift. Yeah, I, I don't do this. I back up everything, all my important files and folders uh, on a um, external hard drives. And have you backed up today? And have you backed up again? I should say that in the beginning of every video. No matter what you use, you should back up. So that's what I do. I do not use uh, system snapshots. So if we click the Start button, that's what I call it anyway, the Linux Mint Start button. Uh, XFCE Start menu, is this, is, is this the Whisker menu? I think it is. Uh, nice selection of software. Uh, the default colors, graphics, fonts. I'm not that big into customization that much. Once I set something, for example, in my Ubuntu Mate desktop here, I put the panel on top, I choose a color, I customize my panel, I'm done. But going back to the Linux Mint video here, uh, I did install, and by the way, one thing I noticed about this menu, if I scroll down with the down button, down arrow button, it like jumps up. Instead of just scrolling down, it kind of like jumps up, but then I have to keep scrolling. It's That's kind of annoying. Uh, it's just, again, a personal thing here. But this type of menu is very uh, user-friendly, and, that, and that, I think I'm getting a call, I'm, I'm getting a call from the Linux Mint team now, yeah. Oh, hey, telemarketer. No, thank you. <laughs> Let's continue. Man, I'm getting sick of those, aren't you? Okay, so as far as the default uh, apps that are installed, I think they're fine. Yeah, everything you need to get started. Uh, I installed uh, Bleachbit. Um, just, just see if it works, and it does. I installed Simple Screen Recorder to record this. Uh, I did not see a problem in terms of recording this video on the ThinkPad. So plenty of software to get you started if you are a newbie. Uh, categories here to the left as they should be. Uh, VLC, a great media player. Rhythmbox, awesome. XF, burn, if you still uh, make burn CDs. Uh, yeah, this actually is quite simple. So 
check it out if you need to burn CDs in Linux for uh, whatever reason. So once again, everything you need to get started pretty much installed. If you're doing this, if you're doing YouTube videos, you'll have you would have to install a screen recorder. You can use OBS, simple screen recorder. Uh, for video editing, I recommend Kaden Live. And here I just changed the color from minty white to orange, orange, uh, just to give it a different uh, color. Um, but yeah, so this is polished except for two bugs. So let's go to fast forward this. I showed you the first bug with the clock. The second bug is the on-screen uh, hotkeys, the on-screen display. My display brightness on screen works, but the volume keys don't work. Uh, so it's like half, I got half display working, half of the hotkeys working, half do not work. So my display works, on screen display works, but the volume keys do not work. Uh, that's also a little bit annoying, I'll be quite honest. Um, putting those aside, uh, Linux Mint 19.1 feels polished. Uh, installation process, quite easy, new problems whatsoever. Did the full updates. Again, it's it's stable. Now, if you are a newbie to all this, do not get discouraged. Uh, the bugs that I have, if you install this, you may never experience those. They may be just hardware specific. That's what happens sometimes with Linux. So do not get discourage you could try a different download maybe try the cinnamon version or the mate version i prefer the mate mate version or if you ever think pad like mine if you're having issues uh try the previous version of linux mint which would have been 18.3 or 4 or something like that uh, that version in my thinkpad worked just about flawlessly so yeah if you are a newbie do not get discouraged you will find linux to be uh more enjoyable in many ways to running your Windows 10 machine. All right, well, that's all I have for this one. Once again, thank you for another year of 2018 for this Total OS Today technology channel. If you would like to sponsor a live show, topic of your choice, uh, family friendly, of course, yeah, you can be the very first to sponsor a live stream for 2019. I have nothing on the calendar as of today, as of this recording. So thank you for all your all of your support on PayPal, super chats, bribes, <laughs> cookies. All right, I'm done with this. Uh, have a good weekend, and I'll catch you sometime in the future. Adios.